Yo, hi guys, my name is Akil and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to create a dot to dot activity book. I will show you guys how to get this picture and then turn to into this and also turn into this. If you guys like this video, please do make sure to smash that like button and without further ado, let's go. Alright guys, for the first part of the video, we are going to open up our web browser. Okay, I'm going to open up my Google open up a new window and then you guys just have to type Vectazy. <clears throat> Vectazy is a free software if you guys want to get a photo or video okay for free and then we are going to type in uh, your subject for, for me I want to get animals a picture of an animal for my dot to dot activity book okay there are lots of animals as an example here that you can guide you guys can use to create your activity book okay so let me scroll for a bit and here it is guys the image that I have gotten from Vectazy that I want to download because I'm going to use this image to edit my dot to dot activity book and also I got some tips for you guys there are two criteria on choosing an image for your dot to dot which is the first one you guys have to make sure your image have an outline as you guys can see here there's an outline when of the image okay remember you guys have to have an outline and also uh, it doesn't matter if there's color or not and the second one would be if you guys have some image that have no color it will be so much easier for you guys to create your dot to dot activity book so as an example here I got an example the image of a chicken they have given us an image with no color so it will be much more easier to edit your dot to dot okay and also just remember the more complicated the images the harder that you were going to edit to create your dot to dot that is why i choose this image because uh, the image is quite simple for you guys to trace all right so what you guys have to do is just download your image and here it is guys all of the image that i have downloaded if you guys can see here there's a so here are the files that they have given to us they have given us a jpeg file and also a eps file so after you guys have download if you guys have extract and everything what you guys have to do you guys have to open up adobe illustrator now i've opened up my adobe illustrator what you guys have to do is just go to custom size right here click on it and then go to art and illustration and then we are going to change the white and height of the image what i, have to, I always do i will change it into inches all right because i want to refer it as my book size which is my book size will be 8.5 times 11. okay after all of those are done just click on create and then adobe illustrator will give us a blank page right here what you guys have to do is just go back to your downloaded file the image which is my image right here that i've just downloaded i'm just going to click and drag on adobe illustrator and here we got the image and maybe i'm going to resize it a little bit if you guys want to resize the image it's just quite easy just press shift and resize it all right we have resized it beautifully what you guys have to do is just go to selection tool back and then click on it what you guys have to do if you go if you guys go to the right side here there's embed so just click on embed okay what you guys have to do after that is just click on the image and then go to image trace or uh, one thing if you guys there's one thing that i want to tell you guys there are so many sections right here if you guys don't have an image trace section just go to the top left corner right here go to windows and then find image trace okay for me i already click on it so it already appear appear on here so what you have to do is just click on back the image and then click on image trace and then go to shaders of gray okay guys so after you guys have changed your image to gray shade what you guys have to do is just click on the image again and then if you guys can see here quick action click on expand and then they will choose everything i just go to the top right corner here click on ungroup okay now all of those images have been ungrouped now what you guys have to do is just go to the top left corner right here the selection tool and then click on the background and then just press delete now we have a blank background a white background 
after that uh, it is time to choose what image that you will like for your page for me I am interested on getting this image of the zebra so I'm just going to go to the top left corner here selection tool and then just drag to make sure only the zebra is chosen and then I'm going to drag and drop and after that I'm going to delete all of other else of the animals picture and just delete so I've gotten the image of the zebra now it is time to resize it press shift and then just drag and we got the image of our zebra okay this is too big and we have gotten our zebra image so what you guys have to do is just uh, choose the zebra image again and then click right click and then go to export selection after that what you guys have to do is just choose your export destination for me i want just want to save it to downloads and then the format of our, my image i want it to be png and then i'm just going to export my asset so i've got my image right here the zebra so now what you guys have to do you guys have to open up your google and then you guys have to type in i am toolbox and we got our website right here and if you guys want the website i also put in the description you guys can check in the description now there are so many tools that have given to us but what tool are we are going to use is the right corner right here picture dot to dot so just click on it and this is the picture dot to dot designer page that have given to us now it is time to create our dot to dot so what you guys have to do is just go to load image and then just upload the image that you have just downloaded so this is my image now it is time to draw our dot to dot just go to the draw lines right here click on it and then just click on your line so if you guys have mistake just press under dot so i'm just going to draw again i'm going to click on it one two three so you guys have just to trace the outline of the image okay just remember the harder your image the harder you guys have to draw and here it is guys i have completed putting all of those dots on my outline of my picture what you guys have to do is just go to the top left corner right here show image and just click on hide image and then this is the dot that we will get what you guys have to do is just download the image and then we've got our image right here and it's just quite simple so we get our image and we are done what you guys have to do is just go back to your adobe illustrator so we got our adobe illustrator Ta -da, it's so cute now what you guys have to do is just go to the left corner here selection tool and then you guys have to click on your outline and then just press delete yeah so we have deleted our image we have deleted the outline of our image and after that what you guys have to do uh you remember the image that we have just downloaded okay go back to your image that you have downloaded which is this image you guys just have to click drag and drop on the image so we got our image right here but now it is time to make our image transparent so what you guys have to do make sure just to click on the image right here and then click on embed and then go to image trace and then go to shaders of gray so to make sure that our uh, number and our dots will be black and gray and then click on expand and then just click ungroup okay the reason i'm choosing ungroup is because i want to delete the background and we have get our background right here okay after your background have deleted what you guys have to do is just uh, pick selection tool and then highlight everything and then uh, pick any dots right here just click and drag so we can drag everything and make sure it is resized accordingly and just drop and we have gotten all our dots in our image yeah and that's basically it it's quite simple we have completed the dots to dots interior now what's left is just go to file and then go to export and then export as i'm just going to choose a png i mean J png or jpeg doesn't matter i'm just going to choose png 
okay and then just export okay choose your resolution i will choose high because i want the highest resolution and then just press ok and here it is guys the image that i have just export and even though if you guys kind of look it's like i'm sorry and if you guys can see it looks kind of weird but don't worry now it is time to create your pages for your book just open up back your google and then open up canva because this is my favorite website creating the book pages just press create a new design and then custom size and then put your book size for me would be 8.5 times 11 and make sure this is in inches and then create a new design and then they will give us a blank page right here and just go to the left corner right here go to uploads and then just upload this image right here so i have uploaded my image i'm just gonna click on it and we have our first page right here and tada <laughs> so it's just quite as simple as that and then if you guys want to continue with your other image other animals just press add page and just make sure the second page to be blank because we will afraid that the image would bleed through so i'm just going to add another page and then just click on it your second picture i'm just showing i'm just using the same picture because just an example but for you guys just use your other picture until you have compiled around 50 to 60 image and then you have completed one book of dot to dot activity book so it's just as quite as simple as that so what is left to do is just go to share on top right corner right here and then go to download and then your file type change it to pdf print and then just download so you have completed your book so yeah that is basically it guys if you guys like this video please do smash that like button and if you want to see more please do consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye see ya